All right, all right, Neil Ratnar, Rock Doc here with a story. So, since today is Christmas Day, I thought I'd tell you the story about one of the most unusual Christmas songs to come along in the past hundred years. And that, of course, was the 1977 duet between David Bowie and Bing Crosby singing Little Drummer Boy and the hastily written song Peace on Earth. And as usual, a little background first. All right, so now, Bing Crosby, for all of you that might not remember him, was actually the best-selling artist of the 20th century, having sold, are you ready for this, over a billion, that's billion with a B, records, tapes, CDs, and digital downloads combined. Now, another interesting fact about Bing is that he was a pioneer in early audio tape recording and the use of magnetic tape, and he was the first performer to pre-record his radio shows. How about that? Now, all right, back to this Christmas duet. So, Crosby was on a concert tour of Great Britain, and the theme of the show was Christmas in England. Now, the British model Twiggy and the actor Ron Mooney, Moody, excuse me, from the London production of musical Oliver, had already been booked to appear. <laughs> now, the idea of additionally booking David was the brainchild of the special's producers, who figured it would be great seeing the 73-year-old Crosby and the 30-year-old rock star sing a Christmas song together. Now, Bowie happened to be in London, and he also lived near the TV studio. And as an added enticement, the producers agreed to air the video to Bowie's hot new single, Heroes, with Bing introducing it. All right. Now, there is some question of whether or not Crosby even knew who David Bowie was. According to some, he had no idea, although others say he knew of Bowie from his kids. Now, Bowie's knowledge of Bing was equally sparse. Years later, he said, it's wonderful to watch. We were so totally out of touch with each other. I was wondering if he was still alive. He was just not there. He was not there at all. He had the words in front of him, and he looked like a little old orange sitting on a stool because he'd been made up very heavily, and his skin was a bit pitted, and there was just nobody home at all, you know? It was the most bizarre experience. I didn't know anything about him. I just knew my mother liked him. <laughs> now check it out. David and his then wife, Angie, arrived at the studio, both wearing full-length mink coats with matching full makeup. And the producers, of course, freaked out, told Bowie, take the lipstick off, take the earring out. And then when they told David he was going to sing Little Drummer Boy with Bing, <laughs> David looked at them and he said, I hate that song. Is there something else I can sing? As you can imagine, there was a mad scramble. Three writers went down in the basement where there was a piano, and in about 75 minutes, <laughs> they not only wrote the original song piece on Earth, but managed to weave it together with Little Trummer Boy. And with less than one hour of the rehearsal, the two pros, Bowie and Crosby, nailed it. <laughs> All right, how about that? And that was that, you know? The writers patted themselves on the back and thought they would never hear about the tune again. But after circulating as a bootleg, RCA decided to release the tune in 1982, and now it's a staple of Christmas. Unfortunately, Bing didn't live long enough to see the song become a hit, or even to see the special. He died in October of 1977 of a heart attack about a month after the taping. A little sad. I'm going to end my story with Bing's daughter Mary's memory of that day. They sat at the piano, and David was a little nervous. And Dad realized David was this amazing musician. David realized Dad was this amazing musician. You could see them both collectively relax. And then magic was made. <laughs> I'm sure most of you have seen the video. And maybe you'll take a peek at it over this Christmas weekend. At any rate, that's my story for today. You see my cat. Shrooms in the back where she insisted on being here, tried to get on my lap, wouldn't let her. You might have seen her on the couch at the beginning. At any rate, 
I want to wish everybody out there a Merry Christmas. I want to thank everybody for the support that they've given me uh, throughout this year and years past. And uh, you know where to find me around the internet. I'll have more videos as the days go on. Again, a very Merry Christmas to everybody. And as I always like to say, always remember to keep on rocking. All right. Bye for now.